This integral looks simple, but it's actually impossible to solve directly. Watch how one clever trick completely changes everything. The key to solving this is to rewrite the integrand sine squared of x into a form we can integrate directly. This is accomplished using a power reduction identity. The power reduction identity lets us convert a squared trigonometric function into an expression without exponents. Specifically, sine squared of x is equivalent to the quantity 1 minus cosine of 2x, all divided by 2. This identity comes directly from the double angle formula for cosine. Let's return to our integral and substitute the original integrand. We're going to replace sine squared of x with its power reduction equivalent. This removes the exponent and makes the expression integrable. After substitution, we're integrating the quantity 1 minus cosine of 2x all over 2. The denominator, 2, is a constant factor. We can move this constant outside the integral sign. This gives us 1 half times the integral of 1 minus cosine of 2x. We can use the sum and difference rule for integrals to split this into two separate, simpler integrals. Now we have 1 half times the integral of 1 minus the integral of cosine of 2x. The first part, the integral of 1 with respect to x, is straightforward. It simply evaluates 2x. This leaves us with the integral of cosine of 2x. To solve the integral of cosine of 2x, the inner function 2x suggests we use the method of u-substitution. First, we define our substitution, let u equal 2x. Next, we differentiate u with respect to x, which gives us 2. We want to solve for dx, so we can substitute it out of the integral. We treat the differentials and rearrange. Rearranging, we find that dx equals du over 2. Now we substitute u and dx back into our integral. The integral of cosine of 2x dx becomes the integral of cosine of u times du over 2. We pull the constant 1 half outside the integral. The integral of cosine of u is sine of u, so we have 1 half sine of u. The final step is to substitute back our original expression for u. Since u equals 2x, the result is 1 half sine of 2x. Now we have all the pieces. Let's put together the final answer. We substitute our result for the integral of cosine of 2x back into the main expression. And don't forget the constant of integration, c. To simplify, we distribute the 1 half across both terms inside the brackets. This gives us 1 half x minus 1 half times 1 half sine of 2x plus c. Finally, we multiply the two coefficients. 1 half times 1 half is 1 fourth. This gives us our final answer. 1 half x minus 1 fourth sine of 2x plus c. This answer can also be expressed in another common form using a different trigonometric identity. Recall the double angle identity for sine. Sine of 2x equals 2 times sine of x times cosine of x. We can substitute this into our solution. Simplifying gives an alternative equally valid form. To build some intuition, let's visualize what we just calculated. Let's set up a coordinate plane. Here's the graph of our original function. y equals sine squared of x. Notice it's a wave that oscillates between 0 and 1, never going negative. The definite integral of this function represents the cumulative area under this curve. As x increases, the area continuously grows. This green line is the graph of our answer. This function represents the area under the blue curve at any given x. Notice its slope is always positive, matching the non-negative values of sine squared of x. Thanks for watching.
If you enjoyed this problem, hit that like button and subscribe for more mental math.